Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and welcome back to the video. So I have some very exciting news to share with you all because a full five weeks before we are expecting to hear anything about 1.15, uh, because next month uh, at Minecon Live, we're going to see the theme and the first big feature announcements. But a full month and a bit before then, we saw our first 1.15 snapshot, and it's not just a small technical snapshot, it's a snapshot which includes a brand new mob. It's a mob which is beyond most people's expectations. It's a mob a lot of people look at and they do not believe in the slightest, but today I want to to show you the B mob, which is the first big feature for 1.15, which came out in the 19W34A snapshot. And because a brand new snapshot is out, that means snapshot season is starting. And I wanted to talk about, uh, you know, and uh, obviously that means every single week we'll cover the latest Minecraft news, mostly focusing around the snapshot, but obviously everything else too, including this week the crazy story of how bees were actually hinted for a whole month until now. And we only learned, uh, well, I only worked it out earlier today, and a lot of people had the same thing. But this, uh, the hinting process was crazy, and I think you'll enjoy that. But let's dive straight into snapshot 19 W34A. Why is it called that? Because it's the first snapshot in the 34th week of 2019. And uh, yeah, the big feature in this update is bees. Technically speaking, it's not just bees because there's also honeycomb and there's also honey in bottles and there's also beehives and bee nests. But everything in this uh, snapshot, including the dispenser changes, relates to bees. And yes, this is real, by the way. It seems like a mod for a lot of people, but I think bees are a feature we can get used to because they're going to be a feature which help you with your flowers. They'll only spawn... Uh, these beehives, uh, you know, sorry, these bee nests will only spawn in the plains biome or a flower plains or a flower forest. So places where flowers are found most often is where you're going to be able to find these bee, uh, you know, nests. And the bee nests are things which can contain bees, as you just saw there. A bee just went inside. It's very confusing to see. But yeah, there are bees in this update and there is a place for bees to go, a secret little box. It kind of reminds me of uh, Vive Pinyatra in that way, where they can go in and out of the uh, beehive, kind of like how the nests work in that game. But yeah, so the first thing I want to know about any mob, I know you might have questions about like, so are they hostile, are they friendly? And the answer is they're neutral. But the first question I always have is like, can you breed them? And yes, you can breed bees together. Let me show you the most adorable thing. If you give two bees flowers, they'll try and breed together. And you know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get a baby bee. That's right, there are not only bees in this update, there are baby bees. It sounds unbelievable, but it's very much real. I did not believe it when I first saw it, but you better believe I am beyond words when I see uh, what exactly is happening here. By the way, I won't be making any more bee puns anymore because obviously, I know you want to focus on the stuff, you want to learn more about the bees, and if I'm making puns, it gets in the way of that. I entirely, uh, you know, believe in that philosophy, which is why I won't be making any more bee puns. So yeah, with that said, uh, let's dive a little bit further into bees because, okay, so there are nests where bees can be stored, you can breed them with the flowers, but what is the point of bees as a whole? So, um, yeah, they're neutral, which means that they can be friendly, they can be the opposite of friendly. Their friendly kind of purpose is that if there are flowers around, the bees are going to pollinate the flowers and try and turn that into honey because uh, you can make a, a you know be a beehive and that's where the honey can go also they'll take it to the bee nest which is a whole fun thing so there's a block to store them in they're the first mob which can be stored inside of a block which is kind of wacky but then also as you can see by the fact that all of these bees very much love this one flower right here also there is a way to utilize this honey so once five bees have returned from a flower to the bee, uh, you know, hive, or once five sets of pollen have been delivered, I should say, uh, you'll reach the maximum honey level, which, uh, you know, then once you've gone that, you can either fill up a bottle of honey, just like this. This is kind of like the first drinkable food in Minecraft, because it's not a potion. It's just, you know, you drink it, you get food, or you can shear it and you can get honeycomb just like this, some honeycomb put out. And then all of a sudden, the bees are going to need to get some more honey. Their whole goal in life is just to make honey and honeycomb. But the reason you want this honeycomb is not just because I know you like stealing things from the bees, but also it's because you can take these honeycomb in a crafting table and you can make something brand new that was just added in this update. It is the bee hive. So yeah, the bee nest is a natural thing, whereas the bee hive is a player crafted thing, which has a similar purpose. And when I say similar, I mean like they're practically the same in all ways, except this is a player crafted version of that. So bees will go inside there, bees will start adding their pollen to there, as you're gonna start seeing them do right now. If you uh, listen very closely, by the way, you can hear a pop sound as bees go in and out. But yeah, bees don't really care about nests versus uh, hives. This is just the natural version, this is the player crafted version. If you wanna have a lot of them, you're gonna need this because the natural version is quite rare to find. Whereas, of course, the player crafted version, woods and honeycomb, isn't too hard to find if you have a lot of these. So, yeah, uh, eventually uh, enough bees are going to go in and out of this that you'll eventually see that this is filled with honey as well. It's got the same five honey level system. And once the honey is filled, you can either shear it and get the honeycomb if that's what you're going for. Or you can feel, oh god, I upset the bees by stealing their honeycomb, apparently. Uh, 
By the way, pro tip, when a bee stings you, kind of like in real life, the bee doesn't want to do it. The bee gets very, when the bee gets angry with you and stings you, he will die 20 seconds later. So you get a short poison, sucks to be stung by a bee, right? But then the bee can't poison you anymore, you know, because the bee can sting once. And then 20 seconds later, what you're going to notice is very sad because the bee, uh, you know, only has one stinger. And if you don't know that stinger, oh god, I have upset the bees today. I have very much upset the bees. But yeah, they have one stinger, it's an essential part of them, and by moving themselves out of, uh, you know, humans, they die. It's actually only humans, I believe, that uh, bees can sting and, uh, you know, die immediately afterwards. Most other animals, it's not the case. Or at least they're meant to die, that's what is meant to happen here. But as you can see, in this case, they don't really care, they just lose their stinger. And then after they've lost their stinger, you know, they can't really attack you anymore. Look at this guy. You want to attack me? Where's your stinger, buddy? So yeah, uh, as long as you make bees angry with you once, uh, assuming they don't fix it and make them die, then uh, yeah, what actually you can end up happening with is have bees that can get angry but not do anything about it, which sounds like my type of bee, honestly. But yeah, I'd be cautious of uh, you know sharing the uh, the hive while the bees are too nearby, just in case that's a thing you're not a big fan of. Oh, also, now that I've taken damage, this might be a great time to show you. Look, these honey bottles right here, you drink up and then your hunger goes up. They're, they're a new drinkable source of food, almost, or I guess. if for, for everyone who asks for a first bar in Minecraft, one, I think you've got bad ideas, and two, good news, you can now exclusively drink in Minecraft if you want to. Arguably, soup was a drink before, but this is a full-on, like, yep, you can just drink this if you want to, and I think that's cool. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you don't. Another cool thing you might not know is if we see some bees go into one of these two things uh, and we have a silk touch pickets on us, we can actually take the bees around with us. Uh, if you break it otherwise, the bees will go loose. But if you have a silk touch axe or pickaxe, then when you see a bee go in just like that, you can pick it up and you'll see that you have yourself, okay, I've upset the bees by stealing their nest, apparently. Wow, it's almost, <laughs> it's not like you need it, guys. Yeah, that. The entire bee colony is upset with me. But now I have a beehive, which I can keep. I can move this to my base, which obviously you're gonna wanna do if you have a long-term survival world. So now we place down the beehive, and if we break it normally, you'll see that there is bees inside. There should be bees inside. Bees inside? There's bees inside one of these things. There we go. Oh God, that's terrifying. They're angry at me. I have, I have unleashed bees on myself. But yeah, they literally poison you, which I mean is pretty close to what bees do in real life, right? So now we've gone over the objectives of how bees work. They spawn in a couple biomes. They're a cute little mob. They're gonna be one of these things that's a fun little project to add to Minecraft. I don't think they're gonna be like a seriously game-changing feature because most of the mobs that Minecraft has added in the last five or six years haven't been game-changing. The last one that was really uh, important to every Minecraft run was arguably the, uh, the uh, Guardians and the Elder Guardians, but even then you can kind of argue the opposite. So they're not going to be too significant in terms of game changing, and uh, I would not be surprised if, uh, you know, they didn't end up being the most functional thing in the game. But what they are is they're super cute mobs that you can basically make your own, because again, they'll just tend to the nearest flowers, they'll uh, pollinate them, they'll give you some honey. It's a cute little new game that you can make, and if you don't care about the game, if you're just a creative player, you're like, oh look, here is a very, very adorable mob. What I will say though is like within the Minecraft standards of like, you know, this for, for anyone who says that Minecraft is too realistic, which is a ridiculous of need to have, then uh, here's a uh, proof that that is not the goal they have. Here's a parrot. Here's a bee. Notice how the bee is like double the size of the parrot. And again, I've, no, I've not seen bees in real life in quite some time. Fortunately, again, I'm not a big bee fan. I know they're saving the planet or whatever, but you know, why don't I remove their stingers or something? But you can see as the parrot and the bee fly around together, the parrot is significantly smaller than the bee, which is ridiculous, but it is true. So yeah, the other thing that I find ridiculous is that even though bees are technically an arthropod, an insect, uh, the bane of arthropods enchantment, which I have on here, is not going to work on them. Uh, they should die in one hit with this, but instead it takes them three hits to die. So yeah, I mean like, not that I'm gonna be fighting bees a whole bunch, but the Bane of Arthropods enchantment really needs some form of buff, and if it's like a useful way to protect against like bees, I mean, not that bees are a big issue, but still, it'd be a nice, it would be a nice little thing, that's all I'm gonna say. And I would be very happy if we made Bane of Arthropods actually work against bees, because otherwise it's a serious thing. But yeah, mostly, you don't want to attack bees, bees don't provide any real reward for killing them. The real reward in bees, uh, you know, this is a trend we've noticed since the whole, uh, the parrot fiasco, where, you know, you fed parrots cookie and, it, that because of that, like, the game's been trying to promote, like, oh, how you, should you actually interact with animals? Bees are just animals that you can keep around, and they do cute things. Oh, one other one other weird thing you might not know, but if you have smoke going into your beehive, what will actually happen is the bees which uh, belong to it will be super docile because uh, kind of like in real life, if you've ever watched the bee movie, which if you haven't, by the way, bee movie is a great movie. And uh, and uh, as we all know, according to all known laws of aviation, uh, bees should not be able to fly. But anyway, you get the point that um, 
you know, uh, you can smoke the bees and make them super docile, which maybe is your sort of thing. So Corey Shiviak, who is one of the Minecraft Java developers, he's the guy who came up with the brown mushroom. He's a funny, uh, you know, guy based on the panels we have seen. Hope to see him at the next Minecon Earth. But uh, yeah, basically he's a funny guy and he's actually been hinting at bees for over a month in a way that's been under our noses the entire time. And of course, like, uh, you know, like a day ago, there's the flowers, which maybe you see as a hint, but there's a way bigger hint, which has been true for the past, uh, you know, month because every single tweet has begun with a bee. You might be like, really? How is that? You know, like, is that really true? That must be a coincidence. But no, that was Buzz, this is begin sequence 7.8. This is Buck Boldeny, which is more of a direct hint there, pretending to be bees, but I, I just thought the Minecraft devs were being a bit strange there. Bring it on, back at the office, best way to start a day, beautiful day, beautiful day, beanstalk, bugs, bet, brown, you get the point. Every single tweet has begun with B, even when he's talking about something political, uh, bringing this to light about the Puerto Ricans and, uh, you know, about, uh, protests happening over there, uh, we got, but what now? But that's gonna be it. But that's not all. But why? But what's happening? Be strong, bugs, a body by fry, bugs, question mark. Since July 18th, every single tweet, we're talking about 20 tweets here, has started with the letter B, which is literally the new feature, at the start of every single thing, which which is kind of cool, right? And uh, then also the biggest hint was, uh, you know, given out a couple of days ago and we all missed it. And, uh, you know, again, I'll admit I'm not a Bible reader. So I saw begin sequence 7.18 and I was like, okay, something strange is going on. Maybe it's a personal life thing. Who knows what it actually is. But if you Google, uh, you know, 7.18, you'll find it's one of the chapters from the King James Bible. So again, I'll admit I, I don't read the King James Bible and I don't know who Isaiah is, but I do know that in this section, apparently it references that the bee of the land of Assyria is referenced. So yeah, we had the we had it just under our nose this entire time and we didn't realize it Cory Shiviak has been hinting at bees for over a month and we missed it But I think it's the coolest little way to do it I love that there's gonna be hopefully more stuff like this because again I think Cory is one of the more fun Minecraft developers and I hope we see more little hints about things coming in the future from him You know, it's almost like he's the new uh, Tommaso or dinner bone or something like that And that's a cool thing to see on the Minecraft uh, dev team a lot of devs don't really talk about what they're doing uh, Development wise, but it's cool to see the little hints. It's cool to see what what's actually going on, or even if it's just like stupid hints. I love stupid hints more than I love uh, the opposite of stupid hints. So yeah, uh, let's, like, let's go back to the game. Because I believe that, uh, you know, these features are really fun to see, and I love seeing the progression of an update as it slowly happens. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this first 1.15 snapshot video. Of course, there'll be more going into the future of these, because I like to also cover the, the development going on around the sides, like again, there's a new Realms team starting up. There's a lot of other small stuff that we'll start including these in the future. But for now, thank you for watching. Let me know if you do want to see more snapshot videos with a like or a favorite or a subscription, whichever one of those you like the most. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.